Preston Physics Grade 11 Waves and Sound Note 2 Wave Intro and the Universal Wave Equation. The next thing that we're going to look at is the motion of a wave. And we're going to draw a transverse wave for this because it's the easiest to describe. The first thing we need to realize is that waves are a transfer of energy, not particles. We talked about that a little bit last year. So when we're dealing with wavelength, we talked about this last year, it's from one spot to the next similar spot. A lot of the times you'll always measure from the rest axis. And here we've shown that our wavelength is measured in meters. The other things that we can do is measure from two crests or two troughs. But we also denote wavelength using the letter lambda, which is like an upside down y. Now an important thing about a wave is that the velocity of the wave is only dependent on the properties of the medium that we're traveling through. We can't actually change the speed of the wave to move faster or slower. It changes based on what medium it is in. Finally, we're going to look at the universal wave equation. Now, this equation works for every wave. It also works only when we have constant velocity, which is good because our waves are all going to travel at constant velocity. Now, the universal wave equation is V equals F lambda, where V is velocity measured in meters per second. F is frequency measured in hertz and lambda is wavelength measured in meters. Let's take a look at the example below where we have a wave that's moving with a velocity of one meter per second and it has a frequency of 0.5 hertz. We're trying to find our wavelength here so we plug into our universal wave equation but we have to rearrange to solve for lambda. We put 1 over 0.5 and we end up with 2 meters for our final wavelength. The questions associated with this note are 4 to 7 in your yellow duotangs.